So sitting all the way back upon your heels for me. And then if you just reach all the way up towards the top end of your mat. And today I'd like us to start off by just dropping the forehead down. And just by walking your right hand all the way across towards your left. And just find that stretch coming into the side of your body. And then walk your hand back over. Take your left hand on top of your right. And again, just press on down. Bring that stretch into your lats, into the side of your body. And then walk your hand all the way back over. Let's lift up the chin and gently start to pull your body along the ground. Roll down the shoulders and lift the chin. And then if we can come up through the lower back, pulling up through the shoulders and looking up towards your navel. And then take the head and the tailbone off in the opposite directions and sit all of the way back down onto your heels. Again, let's bring the body to pull up and through. Elbows in, shoulders are down. Good. Come on up into a cat stretch again for me. Pulling up through the belly, up through the shoulders, look towards your navel. And then taking your head and your tailbone away and sitting all of the way back down onto your heels. And again, let's pull the body up and through. And then this time we'll curl the toes. Send the hips back, take the head down. Nice long stretch coming off in along the back of your legs. Drawing forwards into a nice strong plank. And then bending your knees and sitting gently back upon your heels. And again, let's bring the body through. Lifting and opening the chest. Curling the toes and sending the hips back, taking the head down through your arms. Draw forwards into a nice strong plank. And then bending your knees and sitting all of the way back. Again, as you pull up and along the ground, lift, open the chest, curling the toes, send the hips back and take the head down through your arms, draw forwards into a plank, and then bending your knees and sitting all of the way back. And again, bring the body through, lifting and opening the chest, curling the toes, send the hips back and let your head down. Draw forwards into your plank and then bending your knees and sitting back down against your heels one more time. Bring the body up and through, curling the toes. At this time, stay in the down dog and we'll walk the feet from one to the other and just drawing down one side of your body and then the other. So all the way through from your heel all the way up to your buttock, into your lower back. And then again, moving from side to side with the ribs also, if you can. So getting that whole stretch down on one side of your body and then the other. I'm just noticing, noticing how the hamstrings are today. Noticing how the lower back is feeling today. Okay, let's come all the way down upon your knees. And if you can place forwards the right foot. And just taking down your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Bringing your left arm up and over and take a nice gentle stretch to come out and along the side of your body. A couple of breaths here, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then letting that arm all of the way back down. Curl the toes and lift the back knee. Turning to the right and raising the right arm up. Try and be nice and light in that left hand. And as we've been working on the last couple of weeks, if you'd like to take this deeper, open your front foot and go to the edge of your back foot. And then open it up a little bit more if you'd like to. And then bringing all the way back down. Back knee down upon the floor again for me. 
Let's bring the body up through the middle, raising both of your arms. And again, see how it feels. If you can take your right hand back behind your left, then wrist wrap and draw the arms back a little bit further. And then let's just let those arms all of the way back down. Move back onto your back knee, drawing back your toes, and just again noticing the calf, okay, noticing the hamstrings. Let's just gently send the tailbone back a little bit, relax out your shoulders, and press a little from the center of your chest downwards if you can. Breathing for me here in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then if we can come up through the middle, come up into a kneeling position, okay? I'll just kneel back a little bit so that you can see. I'm gonna bring those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, taking a little bend out from your waist, lengthening down one side of your body, Keeping your ears and your arms together if you can. And then come up through the middle. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, taking a little bend the other way. And then coming back up through the middle and letting your arms all of the way back down. If we step forwards now with the left foot and taking the left hand to the outside of your left foot, right arm coming up and over. Again, let's just take that gentle arc to come over, looking up towards your hand. Breathe, just coming into that side stretch here as well as the hip flexor stretch. Now bring the hand all of the way back down. Curling the toes on the back leg, lift the knee, and as we turn open towards the left, looking up. And as before, we could leave the foot as it is, or turn your front foot open, go to the outside edge of your back foot, and open the body back a little bit more. And then gently draw it all the way back round, letting your knee back down upon the floor, opening back with your shoulders, raising both of your arms. And then again from here, if you can, left hand behind the right this time, drawing the arms back, really opening up through that shoulder girdle, stretching between your shoulder blades. And then lift the arms all the way back down again, moving gently upon that back knee, drawing back your toes. A little shift backwards through the tailbone there, pressing from the centre of your chest. And again, a couple of deep breaths, just letting the body go with the breath. Bring yourself away from that stretch. You're going to come around onto your back from here. And if we could bend up the knees and draw the heels in towards you. Lay the feet so that they're parallel. Okay, so just have a little look down. And if you look from side to side, you shouldn't really be able to see your, your little toes poking out. Then from here, release your body out to the ground. And we'll start by just working your lower back. Down upon the floor, find the imprint of your lower back and then letting your back lift up and draw away from the ground. Pressing your lower back downwards towards the floor, imprint and then when you release, release into neutral. Bring the shoulders to pull up towards your ears, roll the shoulders back and walk them down and feel free to do that a few times. You know, if you can feel a little bit of tension in the shoulders, just work them up and down a few times. Try and work the neck a little bit further out from your shoulders. Now taking a really good, strong, deep breath in through your nose, 
And as you breathe out through your mouth, blow the breath out with a little energy and draw the navel back to the spine. As you breathe in, the ribs are widening, the belly is flat. And as you breathe out, blow the breath out of the mouth, draw up from the pelvic floor, draw the navel back to the spine and pull in. So you feel your waist start to pull in a little bit tighter. As you breathe in, try and feel that you're filling your lung space with a little bit more oxygen. Okay, you really are widening up that lung space. And then as you breathe out, breathing out so the ribs come back down to normal again. All right, do that another couple of times. Maybe also think of the energy that's coming into the body on the in-breath. And then as you breathe out, just almost feel like you're releasing all of the tension out of your body. But again, as we're releasing that tension out of the mouth, we're contracting and drawing the tension up within the body. All right, so just a couple more, breathing in. Breathing out, making that difference to your body tonight. And I'm, I'm finishing the last one. We're just going to leave the arms down by your side. Coming to start off today in shoulder bridge. So if you'd like to breathe in, prepare the body. And as you breathe out, working your lower back upon the floor. And let's peel the back away from the ground, coming all of the way up onto your shoulders. At the top there, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, lowering your back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, into a soft imprint, and back to neutral. So breathing in, the ribs widen, and as you breathe out, engaging the core, tilt the tailbone, and peel the back off the ground. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, lowering your back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, imprint softly and release out to neutral again. Breathing in, let the ribs widen. As you breathe out, imprinting your back and peeling your back up and away from the ground. Try and keep the buttocks relaxed. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, lowering your back down again, vertebrae by vertebrae, imprint and release back to neutral. Now this time, if we'd like to, I'm going to add in some arms as well today. So as you breathe out, rippling your back up and away from the ground. And then breathing in as you raise both arms nice and softly. Breathe out, engaging the core a little bit stronger as you take your arms back. Breathing in as you raise your arms back up again. And then breathing out as you lower your arms and your back together, all the way down to the ground again. Breathing in to prepare. Breathing out, imprint your back and peel the back off the ground. Breathing in, raising both arms. And breathing out, engaging the core as you take your arms back. Breathing in, raising your arms back up again. And then breathing out, lower your arms, lower your back, all of the way back down. Again, breathing in. As you breathe out, imprinting your back and peeling the back off the ground. Breathing in, floating your arms. Breathing out, engaging the core as we take the arms back a little. Breathing in as you raise your arms back up. And breathing out, you lower your arms all of the way back down. Okay, now from here, I'd like us to straighten both of the legs out and along the floor. Again, let's walk down the shoulders so they're no longer pulling up by your ears. And as you bring one leg up towards the ceiling, breathing in, legs coming up towards the ceiling nice and strong, and breathing out, slowly lowering it back down. I want us to be a little aware that we're still maintaining neutral back. Now, if you only raise your leg, you can feel timeless behind the knee. Um, I want you to just very gently bend the knee as the leg comes higher, okay? Listening to your body here, breathing in, bringing the leg up. As you lower the leg down, breathe out, engaging the core and pressing the leg away. And I'm going to give us options today. We can again either stay with our first layer that we're working into, or if you feel that you could go a little bit further today, raise your head, neck and shoulders. Hover the other leg an inch from the floor, and as you bring the leg up, breathing in. As you lower your leg down, breathing out. Breathing in as you bring the leg up, 
and breathing out as you lower the leg down, okay? So still maintaining neutral back. It's only if we're working this um, harder layer, we need the up, upper body lifted to bring in the use of your rectus abdominis. We don't want the whole thing to be taken by your lower back. We want the core, we want the transverse to be working. We also want those surface six pack muscles. Okay, the front part of your abdominals to be kicking in. Hip flexors are also playing a big role here as well. Breathing out as you lower, breathing in, draw back up. Two more, breathing out to lower, breathing in, back up. One more time. And then bending your knees and bringing your feet back down to the earth. Now back is to gently roll over to one side and press yourself back up. We're going to come around onto our elbows and our knees and we're going to work up into our plank. So you have the option to take this up into your toes if you feel strong enough to do that today. Everybody we want to try and concentrate with drawing the shoulders down, with keeping the gaze forwards, with bringing the bottom rib up. Also squeezing back your shoulder blades, okay, so that everything remains really open around the top line of your body. And, you know, do what you can. If you need to um, drop your knees at any point, then do. If you need to stop, then take that break if you need it today. So drawing the elbows down, so they pretty much they line up with your hands. Move your knees back and maybe stay there, okay? Or if you can, curl the toes, push out through your legs and looking forwards. And we'll start with a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, breathing in and as you breathe out, pull the belly up underneath you. Breathing in and out, trying to stay light between your upper body and your lower body. Breathe in and out, four. In and out, five. In and out, six. In, out, seven. In, out, eight. In, out, nine. In, out, ten. In, out 11, in, out 12, in, out 13, in, out 14, in, out 15, in, out 16, in, out 17, in, out 18, in, out 19, and in, out, 20. Excellent, everybody. Come and have a little lie down. All right, now I'm gonna take us into a shoulder stretch, which depending on what your space is like, okay? Um, see if you can do it. If you can't do it, then just, just have a little break for a moment. I'm gonna take the hands out and along the floor, keeping one hand flat down on the ground, and then leaning towards it, and then bringing the knees in. Okay, and then we can raise the opposite hand up. Like I say, if you haven't got the room for this today, okay, you can stay, stay on your belly for a little bit longer. And this is just to open up the chest a little here, okay? If you don't feel anything in the underarm, then drop forwards again and wriggle your arm up a little bit higher, okay? Because some people are quite open in the shoulders and they just may need a little bit more. And then let's come all the way back down, go the other way. So again, reach your arm out and along the floor, starting off with it so that it's in alignment with your shoulder. Pull those knees in towards you and then we can look up towards the other hand. And then just notice, you know, if you feel nothing at all, okay, just move the arm back up a little bit higher. come up into your breaststroke. So I'd like you to turn your feet slightly in towards each other and draw your shoulders completely fall down in towards the floor. 
As we start off here, breathing in, peeling back those shoulders. As you breathe out, engage your core to lift you up from the ground. Breathing in to stay. And then breathing out as you lower and we're letting the shoulders draw back down to the earth. Breathing in, peeling back those shoulders. Breathing out, engage your core. And as you pull up, try and be aware that it's 70% from the core and only 30% from the back. Breathing in, stay. And then breathing out, gently release your shoulders forwards again. Breathing in, peel back the shoulders. As you breathe out, engage your core. Keep your legs relaxed, your feet are on the floor. Breathing in to stay. And breathing out as you lower and shoulders coming back down. Breathing in, roll back your shoulders. Breathing out, engaging with your core to lift and hover. Breathing in to stay. And then breathing out as we lower all of the way back down. Breathing in, shoulders rolling back. Breathing out, draw the navel back to the spine as you lift. Breathing in to stay. And then breathing out as we lower all of the way back down. One more time. Breathing in, shoulders rolling back. Breathing out, engaging your core to lift you up. Breathing in to stay. And then breathing out and lowering all of the way back down. All right, now, I'm gently going to bring you back up onto your hands and knees. Now, I'm going to work today with thread the needle as an exercise. So often when we take this stretch, we take our arm underneath, we bend our other arm and we lower ourselves right down towards the floor. Now this one is a, it's a little tricky, okay? So you've really got to pay attention to what your tendencies tend to go, go towards. So I'm going to be brushing the back of my hand and going along the floor. And as I do so, I want to roll my ribs and turn my gaze and look over the shoulder. But what I don't want to do is go bending too hard into the supporting arm. Because if I do that, I'm going to negate the purpose of the rolling of the ribs. So I want you to feel like the rib cage is, is moving and where we're working is just below the bottom rib. All right, it's a really tricky area to get to in your back. All right, but lots of people get lots of aches and pains around that area. Okay, it's not unusual at all. But to get to it, to actually make it stronger, to actually activate and give a little bit more circulation to that area, we've just got to be really careful in how we do this, okay? Because otherwise we won't get anything from it. So if you take a deep breath in to prepare, and as you breathe out, brush the back of your hand along the ground, gently turn, try and keep your standing arm fairly straight, and you're looking up over your shoulder. Breathing in as you come back up, and we change sides. Breathing out, engage the core, brush the hand along the floor, turn your gaze, look up over your shoulder. Breathing in. So you may have a little micro bend to the elbow, but that's all, okay? Breathing out, engage the core, rotate, look over your shoulder. Breathing in as you come back in. And again, breathing out, rotate, engage the core, turn and look over your shoulder. Breathing in, come back in. And again, breathing out, draw the navel back to the spine, rotate, try and feel those rib cage, uh, the rib cage moving around. Breathing in, draw back on up. Again, breathing out, keep your hips very still as well, okay? Keep the hips stable. Breathing in, coming back. Breathing out, turn. Breathing in, draw back. Breathing out, run, run the hand along the floor as you turn. And draw back, two more please. Breathing out, run the hand along the floor and turn. Breathing in to bring it back, one more time. All right, now I'm going to take you into the full stretch now. So this is where it changes. So as we come down now, let the shoulder all the way down. Let the ear come down to the ground and you should find that quite a nice release 
after having worked that area. So now the ear goes to the floor. With the hand that's supporting you, you can maybe take it above towards the top end of your mat, or you could drop it back behind you. Drawing the body back up, let's swap sides. Thread the arm underneath again, lay your ear down to the ground. And let's gently draw the body back on up. Okay, come around to a seated position and I'd like us to work towards our roll back. So if you have the band that you're using or if you're using a cushion behind your back at the moment, okay, get things into order so you're ready. And as always, you know, you're going to go back as far as you need to, you're going to do as much of this as you need to. Let's roll back the shoulders a few times, open up with your collarbone, taking a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, start to draw the navel back to the spine and very gently start to curve your lumbar spine. So what will eventually become an imprint? Breathing in and then breathing out, engaging with your core as you draw your body up to a nice tall seated position. You're right on top of your sit bones. Breathing in. As you breathe out, very gently starting to roll back through your back. Breathing in to stay. And then breathing out, engaging with your core as you come back up nice and tall. Collarbone open, shoulders down. Breathing in. As you go back, if you feel you can, go back a little bit more. Maybe you take an imprint. Breathing in. Breathing out. Engaging with your core and gently drawing the body up. So feel that you're leading from the center of your chest. Breathing in, breathing out, very gently rolling down through your back, relaxing your shoulders, breathing in, breathing out, drawing your body back on up, peeling the spine away from the ground and lifting. Now for those of you pushing this on now, Put one hand across your chest onto your shoulder. Deep breath in. As you lower, breathing out. Breathing in at the bottom. And then breathing out, engaging with your core and drawing the body up all the way. And then we'll swap it to the other side. Breathing in. Breathing out, slowly lowering. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathing out, engaging your core, coming all of the way back up, lift, 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 swapping again, breathing in, breathing out, open up the collarbone, slowly roll, breathing in, engaging the core, drawing all of the way back up, take your time, take your time, there's no rush, last one, breathing in, Breathing out, shoulders relaxed. Especially if you have your hand on your shoulder, you're able to feel that tension. Breathing in and out, all the way back up, lifting up nice and tall. Good job, everybody. Bend up your knees, and we're going to work into um, triceps. So we're going to start off with dipping, and then I'll move it up into lifting for those of you who want that today. So if we can place the hands in, remember, taking your hands wider makes it easier. Narrower is going to make it a little bit harder. So place where you think you can start with. Remember, you can change it. So as we dip back, breathing in. As we push up, out of our sit bones, breathe out. So this one we're using our weight bearing, okay? Use your core to make it easier, all right? You can lock the core on, your body is going to be easier to work with. 
breathing out and pressing on up, okay? Those of you who want to take your lift upwards, push out through your toes and as you lift your hips, breathing out and pressing your toes down towards the floor and breathing in as you lower. So as you go up, breathing out. As you lower, breathe in. Both versions work, okay? I use both versions in all of my classes. And, you know, it really does come down to um, choice, okay? And preference, and what's making you feel good today. And out. All right, wherever you're going with it, if you need to take a break from it, that's fine too. Two more of whatever you're using. And one more time. And relax it down. All right, let's release out the triceps here. So feel free to sit maybe on your heels, okay? Feel free to cross your legs if that feels better for you. And as we take the, the um, we assist the stretch back. If that's enough, stay there. If you think that you could reach back round and find your fingers, by all means go ahead and take that, that version of this stretch. Trying to be upright with our posture, if we can. And then swapping it on over. Okay. A little bit of maybe assistance to that stretch. Or maybe we go back and we find the fingers. And then just getting that chin up a little bit if you can. And releasing it all the way back out. Okay, let's come around onto your side please. So today I would like to work into single leg lift Okay, and then we're going to work into your double leg lift today. So we can lengthen all the way out and along the floor, pointing your toes, taking your head out and along your arm, wriggle your arm back, okay, so it's not hanging too far forwards of your body, hips slightly drawn forwards, okay, so you feel like you're, you're nicely stacked up through the middle of your body. And as you bring the top leg to press away from you, breathing out, as you lower it back down, breathing in. And as you lift the leg, draw the navel back to the spine, breathing out, breathing in as we lower. All right. And it's, again, it's trying to, again, get that breath to work with you, get that engagement of the core to work with you. Even though we know at this stage, engaging the core is not going to make that leg lift any easier. Okay. It's just that we need to keep, again, encouraging that core strength to be as strong as it can be in every single position that we take. Trying to recognize the effects of using the core and breathing into lower. So again, this range of motion we're using here, working adductors and abductors, inside and outside of that leg. We're working range of motion into the hip. Okay, you're working into your glute medius an upper back edge pass there with your buttock. Breathing out to press away and into lower. Then double leg lift if you feel okay with it, pressing the toes away, breathing out, engaging the core, balancing on the side of your body, breathing into lower. So depending on how you feel, if your balance needs the hand, leave the hand in front. If your balance only needs one finger, leave just one finger there. If you don't need that hand to balance, take it along by your thigh. And this is where it changes. So now we become reliant then on the core to hold the body in the balance. So the core wants to really pull up. You want to feel that there's a little lift of energy coming up from underneath your waist and into lower. And just one more little word here. If you feel your lower back muscles kicking in, they are. All right, they're trying to do more than the core. So just again, think into your body, think into using the core a little bit more and you should feel them switch off a little. Breathing out to press away. Breathing into lower. Last one. And relax.
relaxing it back down. All right, then we come up into your side bend. So I'm popping the elbow just underneath your shoulder. Bring those knees to pull forwards of your body and open back with your shoulders and your chest. Tuck your tailbone under and look slightly ahead here. As you breathe out, reach up, stretch over and try and reach beyond your ear. And breathing in to lower. Now the reason I'm saying that, the reason I'm wanting you to go all the way over is because I really want you to pull up underneath your body and pull up into your oblique muscles underneath to get you up. Now for those of you who feel a little bit stronger, you're going to line up your hand through to your foot, open your knees, open your chest, and then when we lift, we're connecting the inner thigh muscles together, we're reaching over, and eventually again, the floor will be within reach. And breathing into lower. But it wants to be that again, the hips are drawn forwards, as we reach over, we want that symmetrical alignment through the body as you come up. Keep the chin slightly lifted, looking forwards. Our tendency on balance like this is to want to look down. All right, but try if you can to look forwards and keep that postural alignment switched on. Breathing in as you lower. If you've got the energy, I'd like two more. Breathing out to lift, connect the inner thighs and lift and stretch over. Breathing in to lower, good. One more time. And in as you lower. Good work. All right, let's swing around to the other side. And let's lengthen out to the floor. Single leg lift coming up again. So again, you could lay the ear out and along by your arm, point your toes, lengthen through the legs. Take a breath in to prepare. And as you breathe out, we're lifting that top leg again. And breathing in as you lower. All right, so again, let's come into that stretch work. It's partly range of motion, okay? So part of a stretch is coming in here. It's partly a toning exercise as well. And again, we've got to really make our, ourselves lock into the core, okay? It's not going to just kick in on its own on this one. So breathing out, engage the core. Breathing in as you lower. Again, breathing out, engaging the core, extend. Breathing in to lower. Breathing out to extend that leg away. In as you lower. Breathing out to lift and lower. Let's go into your double leg lift now. Engaging the core and as you breathe out, floating the legs away. In as you lower. But lock the core on first. Breathe out and then float. See where you need to be. Maybe you've got one finger in front. Maybe you're taking your hand along by your thigh. All right, just see where you need to be. Keep the chin slightly lifted. All right, again, a tendency with something like this is to drop the head forwards of your arm. Try and have your ear upon your arm. Breathing out to float. Breathing in. And again, eventually what you'll find is, you know, these positions become almost effortless, okay? It doesn't mean to say then that they're not working any longer. Okay, it just means that you've built the right strength up within your body. And that's a really great place to get to. So you're breathing out, floating the legs away, breathing in. One more time. All right, then we'll bring the body back up. Knees pop forwards, elbow is in underneath your shoulder. And opening the chest. And then again, once we're ready, we're going to lift up, go to the edge and side of your knee, breathing out, reaching across towards the floor, and breathing in as you lower. And again, lift, feel the oblique muscles kicking underneath you, you're reaching over, breathing in as you lower. All right, then going up onto your hand, okay, opening up with your knee, opening up with your chest. Engage the core, breathing out and reach across. Breathing in as you lower. 
Engage the core, navel back to the spine, breathing out. Let that arm come up so it goes up past your ear. You're never going to see it, okay? It's always going to be out of your eye line. Breathing out, snapping the legs up together. Breathing in as you lower. Look to something straight ahead of you, okay? So keep the chin up a little. Remember, we always talk about the distance, you know, having a, a fist distance between the chin and the chest. That wants to remain as you do this position too. Breathing out to lift, in as you lower. Let's have two more if you've got the energy. Breathing out, reach and lower. One more time, big lift. And all of the way back down. All right, good job. Come around to seated for me. Now, if we could take one foot towards the inside of your inner thigh. Now, if you've got anything going on with your knee and it's not appreciating this today, just leave it, okay? Have both of your legs straight, that would be okay. Then from here, if we can, I'd like you to bring your opposite arm across towards your opposite leg. Wrap your hand around the part of the leg you can get and hold of and then release your body forwards if you can. And just take a couple of deep breaths. We're stretching out quadratus laborum. Okay, the lower back is getting a stretch. We're stretching through your lats, okay, on that arm that's going to be coming across. Hamstrings, and if you've got the knee turned open, you've got the inner thigh muscles stretching too. Change the legs over, please. And then reaching it over and across. towards the earth again, we're going to come down into the hundred, okay, so if you have a roll back you could use that, otherwise bring yourself to a position uh, onto your back the way that you feel that you can. Now if we bend up the knees, find your neutral spine, okay, so find that you have a little gap underneath your lower back. If you are supporting your head currently at the moment, place something behind your head. We can bring the legs up, one and then the other, okay, stabilize your position, okay, so you feel strong in the back. We can raise the head, neck and shoulders possibly, maybe we're supporting the head, maybe we're patting the air, maybe the hamstrings will open up enough to take the legs away. Find where you need to be, knowing that you can change at any point. Breathing in for about four, and then breathing out for a little longer, breathe out for about six. Now concentrate on the ribs widening, and then as you breathe out, concentrate on squeezing that imaginary sponge within your body, but certainly you might be able to feel your t-shirt crinkling a little bit, okay? And we're going 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25, 26, 7, 3, 54, 55, 56, 7, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 3, 64, 5, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 3, 74, 75, 76, 
77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 5, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend your knees for me. Place your feet back down to the ground. Okay, now I'm just going to release out the neck a little here. I'd like you to take your head all the way over to one side so that the ear touches the mat. And then bring the head all the way over to the other side. And again, try and get your ear on your mat. gently back in and now giving you yourself that double chin and trying to get the back of the neck to the mat today maybe we're making improvements okay with this one I hope so and release your head away we'll do that one more time so again gently try and Draw the chin, give yourself a double chin and just see if you can get the back of your neck a little bit closer to the floor. And then releasing it away. Okay, I'm going to come into your heel dig from here. So I'm taking up both of the legs again, one and then the other, flexing out the feet. Lay your hands upon your belly and again you still have a neutral back. As you lower one heel downwards towards the floor, breathing out, digging the heel down and breathing and drawing it back up. And I want you to feel as you dig the heel down that you're really engaging well with the core and that the abdominals aren't tempted to push forwards into your fingers. Okay, so try and feel very much that your tummy is drawing back behind your fingertips. Breathing in. Alright, and again, if you feel that you need to take a break at any point with this one, please do. Alright, we're only going to about halfway with that heel. Okay, so we're not trying to bounce the heel off the floor. We just want to take it down to a resistance point. Okay, now moving it on a little bit. So you can stay with that one, certainly. But maybe try a very mini reverse curl. So this time now, I'm going to encourage us to take our back into an imprint. So I'm taking our hands away, so we're going to use our hands on this one. And we're pressing downwards with our lower back to an imprint. So you're breathing out to press down, breathing in to release away. Breathing out, engaging the core, pressing into the floor with the lower back. Breathing in to release. So this we could use to help ourselves to encourage a little bit more strength to come in the lower part of your abdominals, to lift and to move your lower back whilst you're on your back. So it's not going to be about swinging the legs. Now the next stage up, you may want to have a cushion underneath your sacrum. This might help you to get the legs a little further over and that will be okay. Now what I'm going to say here is you are going to feel a back stretch. You should feel a great deal of your abdominal strength working too. What I would try and encourage is that you don't swing the legs to take you over. So the hands I'm putting back down towards the ground and I would prefer that you use your palms and your triceps then you swung your legs over. Alright, that would be preferable. So breathing in to prepare as you breathe out, we're gently peeling the legs up from the ground and gently taking them upwards. Breathing in to separate the legs and then breathing out, slowly lowering, vertebrae by vertebrae, into an imprint and then coming back to a neutral at the end. So you're breathing in, breathing out to slowly send the legs up again even if it's not a very big lift, 
It doesn't matter. All right, so it's all got to be about where you feel your body is willing to go to with you today. Without overstretching the back, um, with the inclusion of using the abdominal strength. slowly lowering and I want you to just finish off the last little bit that you're doing today and then placing your feet back down okay and we can take the right ankle upon the left thigh please and then pick up both of your legs and reach around either for your um, your hamstring or your shin and if you could flex out your foot that you've got a pop, propped up against your thigh. Okay, then change the leg over. Once again, roll yourself gently over and come back up. Now, as I said at the beginning, I want to finish with a little bit more release for your neck, okay? I'm going to take in that lower back stretch again for us. So as we come around, reaching for the elbows, if you can reach them, or holding onto your wrists. Now, pulling into your belly and drawing downwards into your lower back. And take a couple of breaths there. Now going to hold by your fingers, so you're making a link of your fingers underneath your knees, and again drawing back. And then holding the fingers the other way around. Gently come back on up now. Feel free to sit any way you like, okay, or on a cushion, okay, that works for you. I'm just going to get us to gaze over our shoulder and I want you to just, just notice how it feels and what you can see. And then bring it to the middle and do that again. And then bring it back. Now we're just going to massage out the earlobes. So taking uh, first finger and thumb, and imagine that you have um, like a coin between your finger and thumb, and you're kind of rubbing as if you're rubbing the coin. So sort of massaging out the earlobes, and then going up a little to the interesting areas. Maybe going a little bit higher and just giving it all a little bit of a rub. And what we're doing here is we're releasing little acupoints, which in turn should give us a nice release in the neck. Now it should work, okay, but don't worry if it doesn't, okay. Some people it works a lot and some people don't feel so much. And again, taking your head around, looking over your shoulder. Hopefully it feels like it's going around a bit further. And then going the other way. Alright, 
bringing it back down. Take your right arm across your body, left arm beneath, and come into that stretch for rear shoulder. Now, if that's enough today, stay. If you can fold the arms up, maybe just go so you're back to back, or maybe bring your hand around and underneath and take your, your thumb and bring both arms up. And then bring it gently back down. And let's swap sides. Bring that arm across. So if you want to leave it with the rear shoulder stretch, that would be fine. We can fold up, we can fold up, we can fold up. Okay, just go as far as it's, again, a very natural thing for you today. shoulders, nice tall spine and drawing your head forwards. And then tucking your chin across, feel the stretch on the back of your neck to one side. But again, if the uh, release, releasing that we did earlier, if that's made a really big difference, you not, might not find that this stretch is, is as intense as it is for you sometimes, and that's okay. Head coming through to the middle, and then going the other way. And again, sometimes, you know, just because muscle, you know, a stretch doesn't feel that it's very intense, it doesn't mean that it's not doing you any good. lowering one ear towards one shoulder. Really open up the side of your neck as well. And then slowly to the other side. release the arms, let them come all the way around, now swish the body forwards so around the back a little bit, as you breathe in, use your core to bring you up, as you breathe out, keep your gaze forwards and let your arms melt down by the sides of you, and again, swish your shoulders forwards, tuck your head in, as you breathe in, feel that you're growing your spine, from using your core, look straight ahead, try not to drop your gaze down and let your arms come all the way down. And one more time, round the shoulders, tuck the head in. As you come up, breathing in, looking straight ahead, breathing out, releasing, letting it down, letting the shoulders down. You're all done. Very well done, everybody. Have a lovely rest of the evening, okay? Drink some water for me and hopefully you'll sleep very, very nicely. And when you get up tomorrow, you're gonna to be at least maybe a foot taller. Who knows?